the Dhammapada spoken by the Buddha, chapter 4, that is verses 44 to 59, beginning from verse 44. Who will attain a thorough understanding of this life at present and in the future after life? gaining full knowledge of the deities and devours, like an expert gathering brilliant blooms, who will collect weighty proverbs instructed by the Buddha? Verse 45. A companion will attain thorough understanding of this life at present and in the future after life, gaining full knowledge of the deities and devours, like an expert gathering brilliant flowers or blooms, a companion will collect weighty proverbs instructed by the Buddha. Verse 46, breaking free from the enticing snares and shackles of Mara, the evil one, one observes the empty bubble, reality or innate characteristics of the flesh as well as its generally deceptive features. And thus, although the emperor of doom may stand right before one, even if omnipresent, one becomes elusive before him, nowhere to be found. Verse 47, death captures and takes away the infatuated soul, laboring, collecting blooms without proper reasoning precisely like an enormous overflow of water does a slumbering hamlet. Verse 48, death, the ultimate destroyer, will accomplish his resolve on the infatuated soul, laboring, collecting blooms without proper reasoning, although he has not achieved contentment. Verse 49, the bee draws its sustenance from the bloom without doing any kind of damage or constituting corruption to its fragrance or physical structure. A man of virtue is the a man of virtue in the community should conduct himself perfectly likewise. Verse 50. One should not waste time contemplating the faults or mistakes of other people. One should not waste time contemplating the faults or mistakes of other people, how other humans have acted or failed to act. Rather, one should contemplate oneself how one has acted or failed to act. Verse 51, like a precious bloom, quite pretty on sight, but lacking fragrance, Excellent words in a person are useless if he does not follow them very well. Verse 52, like a precious bloom, quite pretty on sight and having fragrance, excellent words in a person are quite useful if he does follow them very well. Verse 53, a man may produce a lot of wreaths from a pile of blooms. Likewise, a man should produce a lot of virtuous karma for himself. Not of virtuous karma, virtuous deeds for himself. Even knowing that he lives and ultimately dies. Verse 54, the fragrance of blooms is unable to move against moving air. Nor can the fragrance of sandalwood or jasmine, the scent of the righteous. The scent of the righteous, however, moves smoothly against moving air. One who is righteous scents the four universal points, the four corners of the world. Verse 55. The scent of goodness, the scent of goodness can't be equaled by the most expensive class of fragrance. 
Tagara, sandalwood, jasmine, and lotus. Verse 56. The fragrance of sandalwood, the scent of Tagara, both are of sufficiently small force. But the highest quality scent, the scent of the good, the scent of the good, ascends all the way into the presence of the deities and devas. Verse 57. Ever mindful and diligent in his duties and responsibilities, accomplished in goodness, released and set free by ultimate awareness, the way these people journey is unknown to Mara, the evil one. Verses 58 and 59. Final verses. Chapter 4. Like a heap of garbage dumped on the expressway, like a heap of garbage dumped on the expressway, in which sprouts a pretty, well-perfumed lotus. So, among sightless, garbage-like, mundane humans, a companion of the omniscient is distinguished by great wit. Verse 59. 